Hello everyone, my name is Patrick Frawley and I'm your product specialist for tractors. Today you join us here at our Class UK headquarters in Saxon and in this video we are going to have a look at some of the hydraulic settings that we can adjust on our CIS Plus machines. So guys, you now join me back up in the cab of our CIS Plus machine looking at the armrests and the adjustments we can make for our spool valves firstly. Well, very simply, depending on the specification of the machine this is going to change slightly. But on this machine in front of us we have four valves. Blue, brown, green and purple. So we can see firstly we have valves one and two, so blue and brown located here. And we have then secondly valves three and four green and purple on our electropilot joystick. Very, very simply guys, we have our pumping in positive direction to pull backwards, pumping in the negative direction pushing forwards, and obviously then our float function all the way forwards as well. To use our electropilot joystick guys, we want to make sure that firstly we unlock our valves with the switch on the right hand control panel, and secondly we then use our unlock button here for our electropilot joystick. So it's a two-stage functionality there and no matter what hydraulic function we are using, whether it's the sliders located here or the electropilot joint located here, we always have to unlock those valves on that right-hand control panel. So now looking at our display in the A-pillar on the right-hand side of the machine and what settings we can make in relation to our valves. Well, firstly, from the home display, we can see we have a linkage or setup and our spool valve setup. We can see at the moment that our valves are on lock, as we mentioned about that unlock switch on the right-hand control panel. If these were unlocked, it would show us how much flow we're achieving out of each valve if they were being activated and whether or not there was a timer set to each one of the valves as well. If I dive into my hydraulics menu that we can see annotated by the hydraulics symbol here on the screen, we can see that we can make adjustments for each one of the four valves in this machine. So firstly blue, secondly brown, thirdly green and lastly purple. And each one of the valves has the same settings. Firstly, we can see we can adjust either our flow rate for our positive direction, flow rate for our negative direction, we can assign a timer, and we can individually lock off that valve as well. So, for example, if I wanted to set my valve to 50% flow in either direction, I can dial that right down, back to 50. Same on the negative side. And as well, I could then set a timer to that valve of maybe 12 seconds, for example. So what would happen now as I pump my valve in either the positive direction or the negative direction, it would continue to pump for 12 seconds and then turn off. If we had a hydraulic pump or something similar plugged into that blue spool valve at the back end of the machine, what I could do is I can increase this timer value all the way above 59 seconds and it then turns into constant pumping. So in this stage, when I activate the blue valve, it will then continue to pump until I turn it off again. And then for example, if I so wished, I could individually lock off that valve as well. So thank you for watching everyone. I hope it helped. Feel free to watch some of the other videos in relation to your own specific machine. And if you have any further questions, don't hesitate to contact your local dealer.